In this video, we're going to show you some of the enhancements made to command regarding the KW app. So you've seen recently in the app, we now have the ability to request video tours. Uh, they actually do uh, through Zoom, FaceTime, and the ability to save collections, and all that data is now showing up inside the contact card. So I'm in here as my own test contact, and on the right-hand side, I went ahead and filtered it for a day to show that the user was reaching out to me saying, hey, Jay, here was a test. I want more information about this property. And now it's got a link to the property right there, which is great. So now I'm able to see what they're looking at and the actual specific data that they're looking at when they're viewing specific homes are here as well and the ability to request a video tour so jay requested a video tour here view request and here it is can we use zoom facetime or even google duo let's view a listing and here are the times i'd like to see it tuesday morning wednesday afternoon or thursday evening and you guys are getting this insight right here from inside of the command system I've also been able to, to create a safe search of homes near work. So now you're able to actually do this and see the results. Also under safe searches now, we've lifted the ban or limit, I should say, on one saved search. You now can create as many as you want. So now under safe search, this allows you to start creating for your consumers what they're looking for in the event they hadn't created a safe search. So I can say create safe search. Maybe I'm going to call this one here Chandler. AZ, and it's already got the consumer's information here. So in order to edit this info, I change their information. Um, I can look by location. So I like the find on a map here, and I'm going to type in uh, Chandler, Arizona, and I can start finding out some areas. Here it is. I can zoom in on this map, and as I am zooming in here, I can pick one of the neighborhoods. So maybe I want to live on this side of 202 in Pecos Ranches. And now I can close that map. I can look for a specific price range, 200,000 to 400,000. I can look for certain keywords like pool or yard. Pool does matter to me. Specific property types, you know what? How about just a house? So I can look for those. Listing status, you know what? Just show me the actives. Um, looking for house, number of bedrooms. I want at least a two, two. So I have the ability now to look at these. If I could put the information, and maybe I just want to give them alerts on any price. When I hit create now, I've got a new save search there for Chandler, Arizona. And when I go to the app itself, I'm able to actually see that here under my new saved searches. So I'll be able to view all and save searches and be able to pull that up as well for the consumer, as well as getting email alerts on this now. Soon that will be coming is the ability to choose how frequently to get those alerts, but these things have now been changed. So you're able to give your consumer this experience to set them up on a search. It's gonna show up in the app and you'll actually get email alerts telling them, hey, you're interested in homes in Chandler. Here's the alerts that you're looking for. And in this search, we have five new results. So that's a look at what we've got right now for the consumer, the ability to see the activity here in the timeline clearer, the ability to see video tour requests, which I love is either color coded, the ability for us also to set up multiple saved searches, which will email them and show up on their app. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, leave us a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, you can follow me on KB Connect and YouTube today.